Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. Tonight I'm going to be showing you how I get unready, as you can tell from the title. I am going to be showing you how I take my face off and I don't know about you but this is next to taking your bra off. My favorite time of day is taking off all of my makeup and getting all gooey and ready to go to bed. So. Let's do it. So the cleanser that I use every night is by Simple. It is extremely affordable. It is super user friendly. You just lather it up in your hands and go to town and take the crap off your face. Um, I have been using this now for probably about a year and I've just fallen in love with this. It doesn't make me break out. It's super, super sensitive on your skin. Sensitive skin experts, they claim to be. I generally have a shower at night like I'm a total weirdo and I like to shower before bed even if I've like had too many drinks it's kind of a thing that I do but I normally keep this in the shower and I'll take my face off in there I'm also a double cleanser not two different products at the moment because I'm still in the market for that second product that I really like but at the moment I just use this twice um, I make sure that I get all of my makeup off there's nothing like taking your makeup off and then going and putting all your skincare on and having like leftover bronzer. Your skin is congested and then you're just more likely going to break out the next day. Um, the only downfall is that I find this to be a little bit drying. I find my skin to be extra tight, especially in the winter months. I live in Canada and specifically in Toronto and it's been like minus 45 degrees Celsius um, with the wind chill so it's been kind of abrasive on our skin a lot of us are suffering so this cleanser I'm still a diehard I'm still gonna use it every day but I'm just taking the extra steps to moisturize so I'll show you what those are the next step I take is using the micellar water also from simple because if you are doing your makeup correctly you most likely are going to have leftovers um, even after washing your face because we bring product down our neck and probably on your ears if you're like a full coverage girl and into that hairline where you put all of the bronzer using a micellar water has really stopped me from having a lot of breakouts um, it really does just like find the rest of the crap that's left on your face even after you've cleansed and you think that it's clean it's probably not. Um, okay, so the next step that I take, or I guess the first step that I take into my skincare every night is most likely because I don't, I'm never really like pimple free or like spot free. If I am, it's pretty cool. Uh, I use like a salicylic acid from The Ordinary. So I'll normally just use a little drop of that. It comes out in a dropper. And I've had a pesky breakout here. I've had this guy for quite some time now, and he doesn't want to leave, so he's staying. He's a part of me. So I normally let that bad boy dry. Next step I take in my routine is a retinoid emulsion. This is from The Ordinary as well. I enjoy a very affordable product. I think these retail for about $8 or something Canadian. Um, but I'm still kind of in the market for like an anti-aging sort of serum. But I do like this one. It doesn't make me break out or like do anything strange to my skin. I just put a little bit. I kind of put the product on my face and then I press it in usually and bring it down the neck we age there too. So once that is dry, then I like to go in with my Truth Serum. This is a collagen booster. This is from Ula Honriksen. I love everything from this brand. He is just kind of a genius in skincare. I do the same thing. I kind of get it all over and press it in. I heard recently that you should have like a vitamin C in your skincare routine at some point in the day either in the morning or at night I prefer at night with this product just because I I find it a little bit tacky and I don't like the way that it goes on with makeup I find that the vitamin C helps when I have breakouts it just helps clear them up in a way not like um, to get rid of pimples but to clear up any sort of scarring that's happening I find using a vitamin C has stopped a lot of the spots from 
being on my skin so dark and flaky for so long, it kind of shortens their, their lifespan on your face, which is nice. Also water. Okay. Ready. Um, at this point, I would go in with a serum. I'm just like not in love with any right now that I have, so I haven't been putting any on my face because I don't want to mess with anything. I, again, I try not to like pop anything into my routine if it's not necessary at the time. The one that I love that I just ran out of um, is the Pure Truth, Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. Um, this is essentially just like 100% rosehip seed oil. I love a rosehip oil. I also have one from The Ordinary. I was kind of going between the two. I definitely like this one a lot more. Don't like the price as much as I like The Ordinary one, which is probably why I haven't purchased this again yet, because I'm still not like sold on it, but I really did enjoy it, and I really do think that it kind of made a difference in my face. I would suggest anything from that brand. So once I put a serum on, I would follow up with a really thick night cream of any kind. I have a couple favorites, one from Bosha and one from The Body Shop, both opposite ends of the spectrum of price, both amazing creams. Um, so I'm not a skincare expert in any way, shape or form, but I am someone who enjoys it and I pay attention and I read a lot about it. So what I know from this is that you should be starting with your thinnest product to your thickest. Also, if you're adding something like a salicylic acid, you're gonna wanna put that on first so that your skin is absorbing it and then you can put everything else on top after. You wanna hit that pimple head on, literally, so definitely do that first. As we know, I'm not putting a serum on and right now I've been using the vitamin E line from The Body Shop. This line just like reminds me of my mom. My mom always uses this line from The Body Shop. She would always have this on her vanity and I would always steal it. The Body Shop is a great brand overall, ethically, um, price point, availability. This is just something that I will always, always have in my grouping of products. I'm also the market for a night cream. So a serum and a night cream. I think I'm gonna try the Ula Henriksen Banana Eye Cream. Also, someone told me to do this, so now I do this. Um, I also wanna try the Estee Lauder Night Repair Serum. I think those are the two products that I'm gonna buy next and pop those into my routine. Hopefully they don't make me break out or do anything weird. Okay, so that is kind of it for me. I am extremely simple. I don't think that you should overwhelm your face with too many products. I hope that my routine has inspired you to find your own routine. Thank you very much for watching. I am so tired, I can't even think anymore. <laughs> it's so late. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit that like button if you liked the video, subscribe below, and please, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section about any products, um, any suggestions about eye creams or serums. I'm hot on the search for those, so please, please, please let me know. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one.